Salut, fă de baltezare! Bună dimineața, Adin! Getting married in Romania. Yes, Romania. How many times? I didn't even know she was divorced. Well, it's hardly surprising in the circumstances. So, uh, is she marrying a local? Uh, not by the sound of it. His name's Dean Fraser. He says he was a footballer playing for CFR Cluj. Uh, I, I believe that's pronounced Cluj. Thank you, Fraser. It's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Ah, yeah. Mm. Good of it to think of us. Yeah, very thoughtful. Hmm. We shall have to send a gift. Send? Well, that, that's clearly a courtesy invitation. It's the other side of Europe. Well, so, it'll be an adventure. You're not really proposing that we travel all that distance for the sake of one weekend. We'll leave a carbon footprint the size of a Yeti. Not one weekend, Roy. A week. She's asking us to house sit for them while they're away on honeymoon. They've got a villa. In the hills, with a swimming pool. The hills? They'll be the Transylvanian Alps. Transylvania? Yes, yes. Cluj is one of its principal cities. Transylvania as in Dracula? <laughs> Depends what you mean by Dracula. Cape Fangs bites you on the neck. How many Draculas do you know? Well, there is the literary Dracula and the historic Dracula. Transylvania was merely a backdrop for the novel. Bram Stoker didn't even go there. No, no, no. The real Dracula was Vlad the Impaler, a medieval potentate of particular brutality. No, no. The, the whole region is steeped in history and remarkably picturesque, I believe. So, does that mean we can go then? Well. Oh, thank you, Roy. Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. What, what's that? Our acceptance. Got it. Back to 50. Best not to take any chances. It's 40 degrees in Transylvania. Transylvania as in Dracula. I believe Romanians find the association rather tiresome. Eddie, I can't put it down. I've had to sleep with light on for a week. <laughs> well, in case Roy fancies a quick nibble. <laughs> Are we sure we have everything now? Uh, uh, yeah, best just have one last check. Take your time. Steve and Becky were just as bad. Had to go back for their fake tan. Oh, it's so romantic, isn't it? Becky and Steve on honeymoon, Frank and Dean getting wed. So they're getting spliced tomorrow, are they? Today. We're due to arrive in Cluj less than two hours before the ceremony. You're it fine, aren't you? I've said this. We have to change at Munich as it is. There are no direct flights. It's an extra £600 to fly last night. Fair enough. No point chucking money away. Mm. I've seen the same to Steve. Uh, you heard about that new bathroom they're getting? Oh, the jacuzzi. Becky's really excited. Apparently there's underwater lighting and everything. I think he wants his head testing. Well, it sounds like fun to me. I'd love one. Right. All present and correct. Can we go now? the middle nymph next to the barbecue got it and i am sorry again frank here we do feel terrible about missing it we really oh oh all right right yeah i'll let you all then um well i have a lovely time don't worry about a thing and uh, we'll see you next week bye 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 bye, bye. <sighs> can you believe it they're boarding right now so uh, how did it all go beautifully maybe we'll get to see the pictures one day 
I know you're upset. Upset? Roy, I've seen more countries in the last 24 hours than I have in my entire life. I feel like Alan Wicker and Judith Charm is rolled into one. I didn't cause us to be redirected. I can hardly be blamed for an electrical storm over Stuttgart. And it wasn't my fault Hungarian air traffic control was on strike. Well, they weren't on Friday. Oh, we take a number eight bus into Clues. From there, we can obtain a connection. Taxi! <laughs> You should have tipped him, Roy. And rewarded him for his brazen disregard for our feelings, like travelling in a mobile ashtray. Anyway, I think we gave him quite enough as it is. It's the last taxi we take this holiday. Did you see that look he gave us? It was the evil eye and all that muttering. Lord knows what he was saying. Maybe it were a curse. I think that's a rather unhelpful cultural stereotype. And if it was a curse, I'd say it's been singularly ineffective. Roy, it's paradise. Yes, it's uh, very uh, spacious. Spacious? Space age, more like. I was inside of this screen. I should want to book it a popcorn just to watch the news. <laughs> and this must be Dean. Hmm. Looks like a nice enough lad, doesn't he? Yeah. <gasps> They've got a jacuzzi, Roy. I've never been in a jacuzzi, have you? No. I wish Becky were here. She'd be in her element. <laughs> Bedside table. <clears throat> oh, it's a lovely outlook from here. You can see the whole valley. Indeed. I wonder what the view's like from the other side. I wouldn't like to speculate. I think there's a car coming. Crikey, Moses. Oh, I thought it might be nice, but I never expected out like this. We've hit the jackpot here, very to love. It's already open. Hello? 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 Ah, uh, uh, my wife. Saw your car approaching. I'm from England. Hi. Yeah. You? Uh, Weatherfield. Blackburn. Oh, we're practically neighbours. Oh. <laughs> Haley and Roy Cropper, pleased to meet you. We're friends of Frankie's. How are you here for the wedding? Uh, we were supposed to be, but we missed the entire do. Um, we've not even seen Frankie and Dean. They'd already set off on the honeymoon. We were heavily delayed as electrical storm over Stuttgart. What are the chances of that, eh? We missed the wedding as well. Oh, well, please, come in, come in. Dean! <laughs> Dean, oh! Yeah, that must have been Zura in his last days. Just before he joined Burnley. You were on Dean's side, then, were you? Not when he played for that lot. <laughs> we, we've still not met him. 
have you not? Here is auntie and uncle. Oh. Uh, Glenn and Verity, by the way. So, how come you're, um... Oh, we're, we're house-sitting for the week. House-sitting? Uh, is that a problem? You're damn right it is, Roy. Dean asked us to house-sit. Dozy beggar. I can't believe it. I can. Oh, I... I... His brains are in his jock strap, that's why. I, I, I think they'll have taken off by now. Oh, Dean! What do you mean, where were we? De Thought there was a delay on the plane. It was an electrical storm over Frankfurt. Uh, Stuttgart. Hey, you as well. They've been delayed. Ah, well, now you know how it feels, eh? Yeah, anyway, what's the crack here? There's another couple of mine in the house, some friends of Frankie's. Eh? What have I told you about lasses, eh? Communication. Hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm still your uncle, you know. Spare room? No, 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 no. Fair dues. First come, first served. Yeah, we'll, we'll clear out. Where's the nearest flop house? Is there anything over at Cludge? I believe it's pronounced. Right. Where is it? Pyro. It's in the car. Oh, it's all right. Go on, I'll remember it. Airport. Flyover. Yeah, what's it called? Motel Hadji. Chemical plant. Chemical plant? No, it's all right, we'll survive, don't worry. And congratulations, I suppose. Yeah. And you're anti Verity sent. All right, all right, I'm going. Thanks for all your help. There's a place by the airport. But what's this chemical plant? It's right next door. They had a leak last year, but they patched it up now, it's all right. Did anyone die? No, but the reception desk is like the bar scene in Star Wars. Oh. I'm only kidding, Ailey. Right, Kim Savvy, we best crack on, eh? Thanks for the brew. I'm only kidding. Hey, Lilo, is there any chance I could have a quick nose round while we're here? Look, give over. It's like bullseye. Here's what you could have won. She'll be after the bush fair home, next. Please, Glenn. What for? It'll be like his last house and the houses before that. Same old kit, just a different tart in the pictures. No offence against your mate. Oh, let her have a gander. We feel bad enough as it is. Go on, then, just a couple of minutes, and then we'll let you get back to your holiday. I'm sorry I had to take it down. Well, I don't blame him. Who'd want to be looking at our Dean's bum all day? I mean, it's hardly an enigmatic smile, is it? We'll replace it with a nice landscape. There's one in the games room. Games room? Oh, now you're talking. It's nicer than the last one with what's her name, the page three girl. I didn't know where to look. I did. You wouldn't have took them down. She were a bright handful. And I left. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. And I must say, we've cut the last out to a nicer couple. And if you're living in Blackburn, I'll keep going. Look at his face. Thanks for the tour. Enjoy the jacuzzi. And the swimming pool. There might be a pool at the Adji. It'll be plutonium, like it. Still, we'll be all right. As long as we keep the windows shut. Can't you call him again? There must be somewhere else. They'll be in the air by now. And he made it perfectly clear he didn't want anybody else to bother him. It's a fine way to treat family, eh? Bye, Roy. Bye then, Haley, love. <laughs> Enjoy your holidays. Wait! We, we can't let you go. There's loads of room here, isn't there, Roy? Well, it, it is rather spacious, but if they prefer to be on their own... Burnt. Yes, burnt gathered the unemployed together for a feast. He asked if they wished to be free of their earthly sufferings. And when they said yes, he had them burned. Could he not just stop the job seekers' allowance? Then I say, where are you with them finger holes? Vlad the Impaler was renowned for his cruelty. Sounds like a right charmer to me. I think I prefer the real Dracula, Christopher Lee. Vlad was the real Dracula. Did he have a cape? On certain engravings. Did he have fangs? No. Did he drink blood? No. I rest my cake. Ailey, would you like a steak? Eh? Not with the heart, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cracky, Moldy. Ah! Send it to your phone, love! Oh, 
stop. Is it still working? No. It's not by phone. I believe it's ours. Ailey, I'm sorry, love. I, I was that busy chatting. No, no, it's all right. These, these things happen. Here, let me get you a burger. Are you hot in that? Quite comfortable, thank you. I really don't think they're that bad. Evidently. We didn't mean to wake you. Hadn't got to sleep. How could it with that thing going on? It, it was like a pop concert. How would you know? I saw the spinners at Wigan Empire. Well, I didn't have any trouble getting to sleep when I came to bed. And we all know why. Oh, right. I had two pink ladies and a baby sham. I'm on my holidays. And so are Glen and Verity. Well, I fear their idea of a holiday is quite different to ours. Which is why we're doing our own thing. We'll have a stroll around this village, have a look at your monastery. Then we can have a spot of lunch at a local cafe, see how they do it over here, eh? I'm in some cheese sandwiches and a flask. I bought some decent tea from home. Oh. Marvellous. I don't know why you keep staring at that thing. It's not going to change. All 925's been and gone two hours since. I think we must have missed it. How could we have missed it? We've been here since half past eight. What time's the next one? Fifteen minutes ago. There is another in three quarters of an hour. Another? What do you mean, another? They must be running a skeleton service. It's Transylvania after all. say we could have walked nine miles in plastic shoes perhaps Glen and Verity might loan us their car oh we me driving I suppose there is no way on earth to get me on these roads I saw enough from back of that taxi I think the cliche of the continental easily driver... said from the passenger seats they drive on the wrong side of the road I, 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 I think you'll find that they drive on the right side of the road I'm merely trying to lighten the moon. Go on, Glenn. That's it, that's it, Glenn. It's coming. Go on, Glenn. It's coming. Go on, Glenn. Go on, Glenn. Go on, Glenn. Are you back already? We've just had a game of snooker, haven't you, Benedict? Yes, snooker. Oh. Who won? We weren't keeping score, but I was definitely on top. <laughs> I thought you two was going down to the village, any road, you know, to, to go and see your monastery, Roy. Just my monastery hadn't taken holy orders. Pardon me for breathing. We've had a very trying morning. We were stood at that bus stop four hours. Did you not stick your hand out? They must have discontinued the service. Well, I saw some bikes near the garage. Oh, I've not ridden a bike since I was a little... Well, since I was small. Why don't we go and look? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you, eh? Yeah. Why don't you? Right. Can you be warm enough, Roy? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Two good men in Transylvania. Right, you. Get up them stairs. Come on. Who 
This is the life. Fresh air. The open road. Snooky. I've never heard Steve Davis make them noises. You must think we were born yesterday. The second I feel leather against my backside, I'm 13 again. The cheeks flushed as I sail through the school gates and swing down the East Lanks Road. Oh, yes. Aeroplanes, buses, taxis. Give me the humble bicycle every time. Worst places to be stuck. <laughs> Cracky monkeys. Is this what passes for brown sauce out here? You're saying? They had nowhere else to stay. Uh, we have nowhere else to go. Not Brand Castle, not the Valley of Hell, not the Transylvanian Alps. Right now. Now is the plan. All right. We'll take you down to the village. We'll drop you off and then we'll pick you up at the time of your shooting. Well, that's very kind of you, but we couldn't possibly impose on it. Very uh, you'll have your tea on the table when you get back, right? It's our treat. Now, there's a barrel of of oven chips in the freezer. Well, if we're not putting you out... Not at all, right. Everybody wins. You really get down to the village, and me and Verity will get down... Well, we might have another frame. Or two. Right then. Mm. Uh, well, have a nice time, and we'll see you back here on about five. Can we not get you a quick coffee just to say thank you? You're all right, cock. Oh, go on then. Maybe just a quick coffee. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, eh? Newton and Ridley's in Romania. And I thought this was a backwards country. How's your negative? Big round here. <laughs> You're right, Roy. You giving out the odds? We appear to have a visitor. A rather troublesome wasp. A wasp? Where? <laughs> oh, give over your big baby. It's only a wasp. Only? They'll kill you as soon as look at you out here. I'm sure that's not the case. There's only some artichokes. Get back, get back. I'll get it. Whoops. Yeah, uh, uh, very kind. I'm not sure it's appropriate attire for a monastery. Regardless of my agnosticism, it, it is a sacred place of worship. I wear these colours to a sacred place of worship every other week. It really isn't my thing. Well, you can't walk around like that, though, Roy. Right. Folk will think the camp's had a go at him. <laughs> Just get it on, man. like a hun at the gates of Rome. I shouldn't think they wore football jerseys. <laughs> they wore tribal costume, exactly what this is. I think it's nice and colourful. You'd be like one of the frescoes. I doubt the heavenly host is sponsored by an online betting company. Roy, oh, it's a blue and white T-shirt. It's perfectly inoffensive. Come on, then, let's get going. I'll just throw another one down my neck while I'm here. You will not. You'll be no use to me in that bedroom half cut. Right, my love. Do you recall? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cracky Moses. What? The lad did on. Another pattern over there, mate. I've not got time, Glenn. Being close. Porch and narthex was apparently a particularly fine example of its kind. Yes, yes, well, it was very nice. And one could easily see why that Madonna was the object of pilgrimage for centuries. But she wasn't the one that weeps. No, 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 <laughs> that one was dry eyed. But uh, exquisite, nonetheless. I 
we're good at them to drop us off. Hopefully we can do something similar tomorrow. Well, in indeed. I feel this arrangement suits Glenn and Verity as much as it suits us. Look at that. They're here already. Uh, How's that for service? Hey, streetcars, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear something? What? So that sounds like... English hooligan. <laughs> Fly up to Rovers! Fly up to Rovers! I assume Verity will be driving. Hey! <laughs> Jay fell over! Jay fell over! We are the Berlin, 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 Antagonise them any further. They're all raving mad. Very, very well. Don't let them intimidate you. Stay focused. Okay. Oh, it is. Stopped. Eh? It appears to be dismounted. Oh, you've seen the size of him. It's time to go away, little. I can't, he's parked in my way. Put your foot down, woman, now. <laughs> what was your score? I can't remember. Who is your plea? I've just put my wife to bed. She's still shaking. She'll have nightmares tonight. She's not the only one, mate. How dare you criticise my wife's driving? You placed her in an intolerable position. 18 miles that Hell's Angel chased us. 18 miles at top speed on treacherous mountain roads. Your recklessness could have got us killed. Oh, well, yeah, you wouldn't be laughing if we plunged into that ravine. He's right there, Verity. Needless to say, we shan't be requiring any more lifts from you, nor anything else. We shall stay here for the rest of the holiday and endeavour to keep intercourse to an absolute minimum. Oh, Hayley. <laughs> Social intercourse! <laughs> oh, this is no good. This is no good at all. It was Tottenham, I think. We could have at least made him a cup of tea. They'd only mistake it for an olive branch. It takes a big man to say I'm sorry. So here I am. I'm sorry. We're sorry. What we did was unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable. But we'd like you to forgive us. We can stay as we are for the next four days, daggers drawn, or we can make the best of things. You don't want to be stuck here for the rest of your holidays, do you, surely? Well, given our divergent interests, I see no alternative. All right, so we made a mistake. I mean, we've all got bladder from time to... Oh, you haven't, have you? No. Look, I'll drive you anywhere you want to go. And not a drop will pass my lips. That is not a risk I'm prepared to take. We'll never leave your sight. We can do something we all like. <laughs> such, such as? Oh, what about Brown Castle? You've been desperate to go there. Brown Castle? I should imagine everybody's desperate to go there. Half and the King's never off his throne. But it's known as Dracula's Castle. <laughs> Dracula's Castle? It's an unfortunate misnomer I mentioned in passing. It rests upon scanty historical evidence. Verity, get your kit on. We're going to Dracula's Castle. Now, are you coming or what?
Right, Roy, where are we headed? Well, I thought you'd use your satellite navigation system. Do you him? I haven't got a clue how to work it. I know where the home button is, and that's about it. I think we follow signs for Bras. <laughs> Bras off. Now that sounds like my kind of town. What about some tunes, Roy? Come on, your shout. Run them CDs past him. Uh, there's Michael Bolton, 50 Cent, The Killers. Perhaps we could try the radio. The Transylvanian folk music is highly regarded. The wireless it shall be. Better see. on a traditional theme. Do they actually enjoy this round here? Enjoy is perhaps not the right word. You say that again. Transylvanian folk is characterised by a sense of melancholy and longing. Aye, longing for the bleeding end. I'm sorry, but two hours of that is more than flesh and blood can stand. That's a bit all like it, eh? Silence. Bloody golden. What kind of music do you like, Hayley? Oh, um, all manner of things, really. <laughs> what were we dancing to the other night after he'd gone to bed? Oh, sweets for my sweets. Sweets for my sweets. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Who was that then? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. The searches. Yes. <laughs> That's it. The searches. Hey, a long time ago, man. Forty odd years. Although they are still touring. Crikey Moses! I tell you what, if they're not found it by now, it's about time they stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> How much further, Roy? We left Cludge hours ago. Actually pronounced Cludge. No, I'm sorry, I'm not having that. I mean, you wouldn't ask for a finger of food, would you? Uh, now, by my reckoning, it's just a few kilometres. Apparently, the village is pretty, but full to bursting with all manner of vampiric tat, so I suggest that we proceed directly to the castle. Place. It fools and freaks on every corner. It's like to more on match day. Does this really warrant three hours of our time? This market can only appeal to true Bulgarians. I thought we was in Romania. You saw this is Dracula's castle. It certainly looks apart, doesn't it? It's not the only thing. <laughs> You're not seriously proposing to go in dressed like that. Well, frankly, I'm surprised to hear that you're going in dressed like that. I mean, at a piece, you could pass for ego. Ego is associated with Frankenstein, not that he appears in the novel. It's all the same thing. Uh, overwrought gothic nonsense, I happen to agree, none of which relates to this castle. The best to read the tour starts in a minute. Can we not just have a look round and see for ourselves? The impaler aside, this place is rich in history. If we are to appreciate it I'm not fully, one for tours, me, Roy. Like being on a school trip. Yeah, and guess who's going to be the flaming headmaster? Why don't we wait for you in the village? I promise I'll keep the count in line. I don't see the arm. If they don't want to do it, Roy. We have an agreement. So you're not going to budge, then? Or should I say budge? Buona dimenata. Welcome to Castel Ulbran. Let's go. Fair enough. That's all it is then. The Bran Castle was built in 1377 by the Knights of the Teutonic Order. A wooden fortress was originally known as Dietrichstein. Let's get out of here. 
I'm listening to this. Towards the end of the 14th century, a stone castle was erected by the Saxons to protect the city of Brasov. You mean Brasov? It sounds like my kind of town, huh? <laughs> the last century, this has become known as Dracula's castle. Roy reckons that Bob Stokoe never came here. Is that true? Bob Stokoe? My, um, friend means Bram Stoker. Oh, no, 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 he never came to Romania. Uh, this uh, castle is often mistakenly connected to the book. So I'm in the wrong house, then? If I may continue. This was Vladi Impaler's headquarters for his campaign against the Turks. I, I, I'm afraid I have to take issue with that claim. I'm sorry? There is little or no historical evidence that this was the Impaler's headquarters, residence or anything else. Right. I concede that he may well have passed through here or, or been held prisoner by the Ottomans. We've got an Ottoman in our spare room. It's full of old Rovers programs. I have a degree in my country's history. What is your qualification, sir? I'm gone, it's kicking off here. I have consulted a number of reputable guidebooks. Guidebooks? Yeah. English guidebooks? The woman knows what she's talking about, Roy. She's peddling a myth. It's at best speculation, at worst fantasy. That's it. I no longer want you on my tour. Oh, come, come, I was merely pointing out. Go. You go now. Haide să vă rog să ne terminăm tu. They absconded. Let them. They'll be flat on their backs in no time. Do you really want to drive 170 odd miles? We have to find them. I was working in the lab at late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash. He did the man. It caught on in a flash. He did the man. He did the monster man. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abode to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the man. They did the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash. They did the man. It caught on in a flash. They did the man. Hurry up, will you? I thought I was going to die in them underground passages. It was like Watership bloody down. I don't remember anyone getting wedged in Watership down. You narrowed off. Narrowed off? Like that turnstile in Sunderland, I suppose. It was Boxing Day. It's always Boxing Day with you. Oh, yeah, like you never touched the tides. Now, look, before you say out, I haven't trusted Drop. I told you you could trust us. Trust you? You broke your promise. We have scoured this village, the castle, the marketplace. We tried to explain. It wasn't our thing. It didn't have to be. It was Roy's thing, and you spoiled it. I suggest we go home. Fancy going down the village bar tonight? I might have a couple. In fact, I might have a skinful. We'll see how we go on. I mean, after all, I am a grown man on my holidays. Would you two like to? No, I don't suppose you would. When I first saw that villa, I thought, yes. Our ship has finally come in. Ah, I pretty it was a bloody Titanic. An iceberg's got nothing on that pair. So what do we do? We're going to have to get rid of them once and for all. Otherwise, we'll never get the place to ourselves. And how are we going to do that? By being as obnoxious and unbearable as we possibly can. As opposed to the charming holiday companions we've been so far. I mean, I don't anticipate Christmas cards, do you? What? Crikey Moses, there is a god. Oh, Glenn. 
By this time tomorrow, the croppers will have packed their bags and gone. Now rock. I don't know what was in that sort of this. Leave it, Roy. Oh, leave it, Roy. Let it pass. Turn a blind eye. Just like we've been doing ever since they arrived. So good. I cannot bear this a moment longer. Neither can I. I can get on with anyone normally. Sometimes there is no common ground to be found. We have to tell them the truth. We simply cannot remain in their company. The cultural divide is too great. We can't possibly say that. I'd be mortified. But it's the truth. Right, when are you going to learn that you can't go around spouting the truth willy-nilly? Feelings would get hurt, confidence is betrayed, lives ruined. Our lives are being ruined. Maybe, but there are some truths you don't alter in polite company. Well, I'd hardly call Glenn and Verity polite company. I'm sorry, Roy, but we can't do it. All right. How do you propose that we extricate ourselves from this predicament? I don't know. We made something up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lie, you mean? We compromise our integrity for the sake of theirs. Well, I'm sorry, no. I'd sooner stick it out. <sighs> I've signed his office, Abba. I mean, it was Felicity's idea. Well. Hey, well, well, I mean, I've paid the fee, like, it was a bit steep, like, and unrefundable, but, you know, I, call it my seat, call it my seat. I mean, it's for a good cause, it's for the, for the, the orphans and the blind kids, you know, down the road, so um, you've got to have a go, haven't you? You won't want to let them down. Felicity, show them the wig, show oh. them the wig. And hey. we've got glitter. Ooh, we've got the part, hey. won't we, Hayley? Hey. Hey. And, and, and if I don't shave, I mean, you'll be a dead ringer for Benny, wouldn't you? Hey, well, come on, what do you say, eh? Come on. Well, I am. Um... I'm afraid that won't be possible. We've received unexpected news from home. Our daughter Becky has gone into labour four weeks prematurely. Daughter, I didn't know you had a daughter. Oh, yes, sir. We're catching the first flight home in the morning. Right, right. That's great news, isn't it? I mean, I mean, about you being grandparents, like, you know. When you've gone, we'll, we'll raise a glass here. We'll take to the airport. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, go and get some cafe. I mean, these mobile phones today, it's been on the barbecue at the bottom of the pool. I think I even seen it in the dustbin. And it still takes calls from England. I mean, that's one hell of a phone you've got there, Daly. One hell of a phone. Well, I suppose this is it then. Yes, it's, it's been quite a, a, an experience. Yeah, well. Good luck for tonight, and uh, thanks again for the lift. Give our love to your daughter, won't you? And the new addition? Aye. We will. Bye. <laughs> Royston! Becky? Becky? Oh, how did you know I was coming? Oh, did Tightwad tell you? Yes, trust him to spoil me surprise. Tightwad? Steve. We were having a lovely dinner under stars, and he says to me now about this jacuzzi. Well, turns out I'm getting an ex-display vanilla bath with a crack under the hot tap. Sink don't even match. Oh, love. I know. Well, I couldn't bear to be in the same country as having a mind or tell, so I thought I'm going to jump on a plane and here I am. I'm amazed they've let you out of the hospital. Hospital? Were we so unbearable? To invent a daughter and a poor little premature baby just to get away from us. Have you got any idea how that makes us feel? We're so sorry. I, I hardly know where to put myself. 
Well, we know where to put ourselves. Come on, Verity. We're off to the motel, had you? Happy holidays. We've done the handshakes. Come on, let's make tracks. No, wait. We'll go to the Hardy, won't we, Roy? I think we probably should. Well, go and get the bags. You'll do no such thing. This place is massive. Hey, eh, Roy? Yes, it, it is rather spacious, but that, that's, that's really not the issue. So you got off on the wrong foot. You're all grown up. She can start again now. If you'll excuse me. Well, I suppose there is room for all of us. <laughs> we could let bygones be bygones. So I said, that sounds like my kind of town. Brilliant. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Oh, very sweet. Um, look, I've been thinking, and, and we will do the karaoke town. <laughs> You're all right, Roy. I've not always done it with this chilli sauce, have I? They want to do the karaoke now. Who did? Hey, karaoke. I'm always up for a bit of that. Then karaoke, it shall be, sweetheart. I'm sorry, love, I've entered as I've been the running four of them. Uh, Be Becky could take my place. It it's not really my thing. It doesn't have to be, Roy. It's our thing. Besides, there were two blokes in Abba. Yeah, well, Ailey could pass it. I mean, I mean, well, you could play a fella, couldn't you? It's only a bit of fun. You know what, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll drag up. No, no, you're all right. Venice will do it. Why me? Well, Becky's a dead ringer for the good looking one, isn't she? What? Well. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> yeah, those kids are fat as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. You're not kidding me. Ancient timing. He's got a nerve on him getting on stage in that state. Look at the gut on him. Oh, look at Mick Jagger. Well, I give him ten myself. Points? No, years. Manslaughter, at least. <laughs> right, same again, ladies. If I didn't know better, Glenn, I'd say you were trying to get me drunk. <laughs> A snake bite and a pink lady is coming up. Over there, mate! Yeah, yeah! We've had. Well, right of all people coming out with a whopper like that. It's a long story. To seem harmless enough. His eyes are on tour, but apart from that. Mm, well, maybe we did overreact. The old weather committee do strange things. Like saying I was your daughter. There's no strange about that. What were I eight months gone? You should have told me I could have packed him back. It's not serious, is it? I mean, to walk out on your own honeymoon is a cheapskate, a coward, and is a liar. <sighs> no, it's not serious. It's just. Well, about time I've forgiven him. I'd already booked my tickets, haven't I? And won't do him any harm. I think he's in doghouse. Truth is, I miss you, Wales and Roy. Plus, you've got a jacuzzi. Shadows. 
Been discovered. Are we going then, or what? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we better have Royal be fretting. Hey, it'll be tough with one though. Oh, it'll be cock a hoop. He'll be skipping around the living room, that lad. He's a slave to his emotions. Right, a pink snake and a lady bike. No, thank. We're going. Well, I'm not. I didn't travel five thousand miles for an early night. And I'm with you, lass. Hey. It's not safe for a girl on her own around these parts. Not with the likes of you about. Don't get off your backside and into that car. Well, perhaps we could meet round the pool later on for a quick one. I mean, if you had a drink. Out. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> You're not really thinking of staying, are you? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. The night's still young. But there aren't any buses or taxis. So when else are you going to get home? I'll get home. I always do. Stop worrying, Mum. You've got Verity's number for if you're desperate. Yes. Now get yourself home to Roy. And you will be careful, won't you? You're asking me to break the habit of a lifetime. Good night, Ailey. Good night, love. Right. Put me down for another. Um, I'll do a rehab. We're going home first thing tomorrow. Oh, that's just the ale talking. I've not had any ale. You don't even want to get rid of her, not now she's arrived. Who? Who? She's young enough to be your daughter. Hayley? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't be sorry. You came up with something, it didn't work. Face it, Glenn, there's no shift in them. They're like that brown sauce stain on your pillow. I got that out. You turned it over. Oh, I promise you. Illusion. What's crack here then? It is Bogdan, the king of Palinka. Oh, yeah? Where's that? <laughs> Palinka is a drink, a local poison. So it's a contest, is it? It is never a contest. He's unbeaten since 1973. People have come from Budapest, Split, Sofia. But the end is always the same. Oh, yeah? Line him up. Line them up. Okay. <laughs> no rock. Rock and roll, baby.
The next display, vanilla bath with a crack under the cold sap. Was it the hot? Anyway, it don't even matter, cos my sink don't match. Not that I'd want it to. And then, you know what? I just think about the day we fell in love. Girls. He was my knight on a white charger. Well, it was a black form on Deo, actually, but... Oh. Standing in the witness box, on off, just lying through his teeth for me. <laughs> Not dead, is he? Have a snake bite when you're ready, cock. How did you get home? Like a sales. I'll always get home somehow. I fancy going. Valley of Hell. I'm already there. You do look rough. Dog rough. Yeah. It were worth it. Really? Don't worry, Haley. I was a good girl. Fairly spoke to a fella all night. Thank you! Oh, hey, Omniku, you all right? You found time for a 99, I see. OK, so maybe I chatted to one bloke. Becky! <laughs> Octavian! <laughs> well, maybe two. Right, that's me done. Let's hit the road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What is this valley of death? Hell. Valley of hell. Part of the Carpathian Mountains, not too far from here. The views are said to be quite stunning. Aye, aye, the ground. Come on, let's get cracking. Baltazare, is that you? Becky! Oh! Is Green Door come second? That, that was Shaking Stevens. Yes, Shaking Stevens! Ah, 
are you Mother Teresa? Are you not listening? He said he was a man and alive. Mother Teresa's not dead, is she? No. Oh, I liked her. That's funny, she couldn't stand you. Are you Pele? I'm not exactly Pele, but that's the closest you've got. You're red hot, darling, you're red hot. Now then, last question. Now, careful, everyone, no one jump in. I think the final question should be collectively agreed upon. Hang on. Can you hear that? What? That rattling. We don't like this. <laughs> Joy. No, not yet. What are we going to do? Can nobody get a signal? I can't even find my phone. I think we should just wait here till someone comes along. What, do you mean like your bus? Are you feeling any better, Verity? No. It's definitely sunstroke. It's like making us again, isn't it, Glenn? Oh, I hope not. It was terrible. She was panting, slurring her words and everything. You had some stroke last night, did you? It's not a joke, this, you know. We've got to get her down off this mountain before she goes downhill. You know what I mean? Look, I thought I'd seen some farms and such back there. You, if you want to go and have a look, and I'll try and fix this bugger. Look, take this with you, in case it takes some finding. How will we know when you've mended it? Well, I'll give three blasts on the arm. Now, can you get going, please? She's sinking fast here. Oh, yeah. Oi! Sorry about this. Oh, no need to apologise, you can't help it. <laughs> Good luck. Third time we've passed that rock. No, I don't think so. Oh, perhaps, perhaps it is. Maybe we should just head back to the car. Yeah. Which direction is it? That this way. way. with the car. Well, we'd have heard his own. I fear we may have passed out of earshot. I'm the faintest idea where we are. No, me neither. It is lovely, though, isn't it? I bet the sunset's fantastic. Yeah. I've got no intention of enjoying it. No, I bet you haven't. Do I detect a note of sourness? Not sourness, no. Just, I don't know, sadness. Sadness? For you. But I'm... Not sure I follow. No. That's it, you don't, do you? You never join in. I had a really good time last night. We were up on that stage doing things I never thought, and I know it were a bit tacky, but it were fun. And Glenn and Verity are fun, too, in their own way. But they realise that there's no audience in life. Unless you're singing Walter Lewis through a bar full of drunken strangers. <laughs> I, I don't mean it in a nasty way. I just hate to think you're missing out on things you might enjoy for fear of embarrassment. Well, I, I've never pretended to be the most easygoing or clubbable of souls. No, I'm not, I'm not asking you to pretend. I'm not asking you to change. I don't know what I'm asking. Maybe I'd, I'd just like you to be 
a bit more open to new experiences. I, I do have a confession to make. I, I also tried something new last night. Something that may come as a shock to you. I had a bath in the jacuzzi. Right, crap, eh? Uh, it, it, it felt s strange at first. I shall now have some empathy with my next boiled egg. <laughs> but ultimately, though, it, it was um, invigorating and, uh, yes, uh, enjoyable. However, I don't think we will be investing in one. <laughs> An owl. An owl? If it were an owl, it had four legs, a bushy tail, and little red riding hood dangling from its gob. This is Europe. They don't have packs of wolves running wild, do they, Roy? Roy. I'm afraid they do. The brown bear is also native to these parts. Bears? Shh. You let us go wandering off and there's bears knocking about. I didn't think we'd lose that way. Yeah, well, we'll lose a damn sight more than that if a bear cops hold of us. Come on! It's definitely a human voice. Hello? Hello? Becky! There's two people stuck in the mountains. Becky? Hey! No, never mind all that. Car's broken down, the woman's got sunstroke. There's bears and wolves everywhere. You've got to save them. I'm sure the authorities are doing everything they can to find them. I was Praying they'd be here when we got back, Ferrety topping up with town, Glenn laughing at the barbecue. What's so funny about barbecue? I tried telephoning Frankie, but the landline doesn't appear to be working. Well, I suppose if a bear did come along, they could lock themselves in the car. Mm. It is only a canvas roof. Derek just runs in no time. Goldilocks might escape, but I don't fancy Glenn's chances. Escape? She were half dead with sunstroke. She's a sitting duck. Oh, is the Valley of Hell all right? Why did you insist on going there? Well, it wasn't my suggestion. It was, it was Glenn's because idea. Because he was trying to please you. Why would he do that? Because he liked you, Roy. He liked all of us. They tried to be friends with us and we threw it back in their faces. Oi! What's that police car doing here? You Roy and Haley, yeah? Yes, yes. You, you must be Dean. Duh. Who are you? I'm Becky. You must be Frankie's husband, right? Yeah. Oh, well, for now. I only lit the girl's cigarette, and bang, my gear is on the balcony. I got an early bath on my own bloody honeymoon. Could have been worse, love. I got a vanilla one. No one tells Dean Fraser what to do, all right? Not Ian Dowie, not Barry Fry, and certainly not Frankie. <laughs> oh, yeah, and to cap it all off, I get back, and my car's been nicked from the long stay. I'm afraid it gets worse. Your Uncle Glenn and Auntie Verity are stranded on a mountain. Are they? Who? I've been on the way. Frankie's bling. 
off the wedding presents. My Leal and Daff runners up medal. But he formed you. You recommended the Motel Haji, you know, the one where they had the leaf on the chemical plants. I'm afraid we've been duped from the outset. There you go, I thought we'd celebrate in style. Don't feel like celebrating. It's one of the best styles we've ever had. Was it really worth it? Is it ever really worth it? I've had enough of this game. You're just tired, sweetheart. You're right, I am. I'm tired of being chased around Europe, staying one step ahead of the police. Romania's the last place we weren't known. I don't fancy the Ukraine, that's for sure. The croissants will be out at home. And we can't expect Phil and Barbara to feed the cat forever. We've earned our retirement. Well, these last few days we have. I don't know about worrying about the coppers. It was the croppers that nearly did for us. <laughs> so, you know when you parked your car up, did you hand your keys over? Yeah, the guy on the gate, he was a big guy with a sweat on. It's the oldest scam in the book. You get yourself an orange bib, and then you wait for the real attendant to go on his bag break. Then while your accomplice keeps watch, you just wait for the next car to come along. Pick your mate up round the corner. Yes. Bang home into the sat nav and you're away. And what do you expect oh. to find? An empty house. Because they're all on their holidays. Well, Ryan Healy, you were here? Hello? I tell you, the art was in my mouth when I seen him. I were halfway through the door till she said they'd never met him. Aunt and uncle. Genius. And when you asked for the tour, that was a masterstroke. I had that phone line slip before we'd opened those cases. Well, if Fred Yordine had a run, we'd have had it. Frankie. And barbecue in the mobile. Perfection. Opportunity not. Never mind, poor Ailey. You nearly caught it in the act. I've got you. Go on, Glenn. It's coming. Go on. It's coming. Give it a really good one now, Glenn. Go on. I'm in. I'm in. Go on. You can do it, Glenn. Yeah. Yeah. You back home, ready? We just had a game of snooker. Have you ready? Yes, snooker. Snooker. <laughs> they didn't even have a table. They were too polite for their own good. I hope they're all right. Of course they'll be all right. We haven't left them on the north face of the Eiger. Air Bavaria flight AB 7351 to Munich is now ready to board. Come on, Kimasabi. We might have spent the last 20 years robbing people blind, but we've never hurt anyone. What are you trying to say? Anything could happen to them up there. You heard that wolf. Could have been an owl. I'm sorry. I'm not getting on that plane till I know they're going to be safe. No, no, no one's stuck on a mountainside. The professional crooks. They've got me Leal and Daff on us up middle. The man. Oh, Bad. Hello, mate. Uh, hello, mate. Uh, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Oh, grand. Look, there's three people stuck up a mountain in the Valley of Hell. Here's a fellow with his shopping bag, a worried-looking lass with bad hair, 
and a, a blonde girl with a body ditch. Where are you calling from, sir? Look, you just worry about them. You need bother about us. Please get them. Vagabond. Yeah, they got away. But they'd already checked the bags in. It was all there. Yes, yeah, we got your jewellery back. And hey, hey, got me medal. Even got Becky's phone. She's a friend of Ryan Haley's. She said she remembers you. Hey, Frankie. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course she's staying here. Well, she's uh, had a bit of a bonnie with her husband on a honeymoon. Does that ring a bell? Hey, hey I've, I've hardly said two words to her. Frankie. Perhaps you should telephone Steve. Put him out of his misery. Put me out of my misery, more like. Is there something the matter? Well, it shouldn't be. Last night was classic Granger, you know? Booze, fags, dancing till dawn. It's everything I live for. So, what's the problem? He's no here. He's scruffy, he's balding, he's overweight, but worst of all, he's not here. Well, they do say absence makes the heart grow fonder. I grow softer, you mean? That one I'll be off back to Greece. You were right. Yes, yes. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Perhaps we might enjoy the sunset together. It's funny, isn't it, to think of them out there somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Let's hope the police catch up with them soon. questions. You never did say. How are me? You? You're not a figure of historical significance. I am to me. How was Pele getting close? Well, I played a bit. I had a trial for Stockport. You had a trial in Stockport? Keep it down, love. This is the border. Welcome to Ukraine. Drive safely. 